He's a grade 11 drama major at Etobicoke School of the Arts. Please welcome the boy with the sitcom surname. Here's Evan Maud. <laughs> Moms are great, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, they'll do anything for their kids. You know, I mean, they first they give the gift of life, and they walk them to school on the first day of school, um, uh, drive them to soccer practice or ballet lessons or whatever. But I firmly believe that the greatest gift any mother can give their child is a sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> Now, my mom wasn't crazy about the idea at first, <laughs> but I was able to bring her around to my way of thinking. You see, I needed a sex doll for a film I was making for school. <laughs> don't ask, I go to an arts school. <laughs> and so I told her, I mean, don't you want me to do well at my studies? Besides, I mean, this will make a great conversation starter at family Christmas or wherever. <laughs> I mean, just think, this isn't just investing in any old prop for one little movie. This is investing in my future. <laughs> just think of all the great films I can make with a sex <laughs> So she uh, researched online and, and found the model that uh, the best fitted me. Or suited me. <laughs> now, the purchasing of a sex doll. It's a very delicate art. You have to be subtle, yet determined. My mom soon determined that subtlety is not one of her strong <laughs> she, she drove to the store and paced back and forth outside the front entrance, you know, trying to build up the courage to go in. Finally, she just says, my son needs me, and rushed into the sex shop. <laughs> Needless to say, the woman at the counter was a little surprised. I mean, a hasty middle-aged woman with a horrified look on her face is probably not the typical sex shop customer. <laughs> so the, the woman at the counter says, you know, can I help you? And, and my mom says, hi, I like a blow-up doll. You know those things that look like people and you just blow them up with air like... <laughs> <laughs> the clerk just stares bug-eyed at her, you know, and she's like, oh, it, it's not what you think it is. It's for my son. <laughs> for your son. Yeah. He's making a movie. <laughs> so she gets this sexy flight attendant blow-up doll, right? And she's, she walks out of the front entrance with it. And she's just taking it step by step, you know. Just praying no one will see her. And then... Ruth? <laughs> Reverend! <laughs> what a pleasant surprise! Are you walking out of extra vision? He says, and, and, then, and then my mom says, Oh, I, I thought it was an optometrist. <laughs> and he's like, mm hmm But you don't spell extra vision with three X's. <laughs> and she's like, See, I really do need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so I made my movie and we uh, stored the sex doll away. But every time I see its slowly deflating plastic breasts peeking out of its box, I'm reminded of my mother's love. <laughs>